What's up, guys? Hope you're having a good Sunday. I had an interesting conversation with a friend this past week about preference in lighters. As Americans, we've primarily grown up with these big style lighters. They come in thousands of different designs, thousand flicks with your BIC, one time use, disposable, and throw them away. I pretty much use this lighter my entire life. But there's also a lighter that's out there on the market that's more popular in Europe. And many people say that this is the far superior lighter that's on the market today, and this is what's known as a clipper lighter. Again, this is more of a popular style that's available in Europe. I believe these are made in Spain. Very similar to the scale, say, this is more of like a size of a tube of lipstick, I guess you could say. A little bit smaller than that of the Bic. But this is also made of a nylon polymer material that catches on fire at a much higher degree of temperature. And on the bottom here, it has a rounded shape. And that's about the size of a bowl. So for you pipe smokers out there, you can actually use this as a tamper as you smoke. And here in the center, this is also refillable with butane. So this is a more eco-friendly lighter as opposed to the Bic, which is just a one-time use. You can actually just get a can of butane at the store for like 2 to $3 and refill this dozens of times and uh, use less plastic. Also, the shape it is rounded and it has a flat edge to it, so you could actually use this as a scraper. So when you're scraping up your flour on your tray or whatever, it comes in handy for that reason. Up here is the flint system, and if you just take your two fingers and pinch and pull straight out, this comes completely out. And the way this flint system works is that right here, this screw just screws completely off, and there's a spring inside of here, and your flint is right up here next to the wheel, the striking wheel. Now, this is also designed to where it can hold two pieces of flint, unlike one piece, like the Bic. So this is actually, if you add an extra piece, it could be a longer lasting lighter in that regard. As I was researching this lighter, I saw on some YouTube survival pages that they were also using this mechanism to start fires with. If you have some nice fluffy material, you can use the sparks and use this as a way to start a fire. Pretty interesting. But as the cannabis industry, they've looked at this and noticed how long this tool is. So they have started to use this as a packing tool when you're uh, packing pre-rolls and cones and the such. You can use this to pack and tuck in the end of your joint with this little tiny tool. You can also peel off this little cut, this uh, case covering right here. And this also serves as a crutch. So that way, like uh, whenever you're rolling joints per se... You can just put your paper down in there like so and use it as a crutch while you hold your joint. Pretty interesting. But yeah, the assembly is very simple. This just slides right back in there. I'll get this back on. It snaps right back on. And the other key feature about this is that whenever you hold the flame of this lighter, when you turn it over to its side or if you hold it upside down, there is more butane that is released by this lighter that produces a bigger flame. So just like so, now watch it as I turn it over. You can also hear more butane being expelled. So it's a huge flame. Now this is awesome for pipe smokers or if you're out in the wind or whatnot this is uh, an awesome feature that just blasts that flame out there so if you're trying to catch the or you know just even starting a fire this is a huge benefit to this lighter however as a cannabis connoisseur i like to be able to control the size of that flame and that's what this doesn't have I saw on some YouTube videos that you can actually remove everything and there's some adjustments that you can make to control the size of this flame. But as far as like with the big style and the knockoff style lighters, as far as like a lighter adjustment valve, this simply just doesn't have that. So 
if you don't want to torch your bowl when you turn it over, it's best to hold the, the lighter a little bit further away so that way the flame just kind of licks the you know, licks the top of your bowl instead of just turning it over and just torching it with the flame. You can I like the Beck better for that reason because you can control how small that is and that way you don't burn up all your green hit. Don't be torching bowls and passing it to your friends. It's 2020. Hopefully that's something that's done in the past, but don't be that smoker and torch the green bowls. But those are just a few of the key features that people feel why this clipper lighter is the superior lighter. Next time you see one of these, now that you know the features, maybe you can play around with it and determine for yourself if you think the clipper might be the better lighter than that of the Bic. Thanks for watching, guys.